Declan, <laughs> the Southern Star are in possession of a photograph of a cow. There was no animals harmed in the making of this event. <laughs> okay, can you explain please to the readers what happened? Um, about a year ago, um, 1st of July 2018, I was attending uh, to Manway Agricultural Show and uh, just at the end of a very hectic and busy year, uh, just finished up as being Mayor of the County of Cork and um, attended the local De Manway Agricultural Show in De Manway and was walking around the different uh, events and stands and uh, met a very beautiful young lady and we got chatting and uh, something happened, not quite what, didn't know what happened on the day but it developed into something much bigger and uh, yesterday uh, was the anniversary, the 1st of July 2019 and I decided to pop the question and trying to think of a novel way of doing that, uh, thought when we met in the field why not do it in the field again. So I decided to, uh, one of my um, pet cows, your favorites. my favourites, one, one of, of your my favourites, yes. um, decided just to print on her side with her permission of course, um, <laughs> will you marry me and uh, did that yesterday morning straight after the milking the daily routine and uh, put her out in the field and we went for a stroll mm -hmm. and uh, Catherine didn't know what was happening where we were going just uh, said we'd go for a stroll around the farm and uh, she spotted this print or this um, <laughs> text on the cow and took a closer look and uh, and I think on that cue Catherine can you take up the story from there <laughs> I think that was <laughs> very well explained and how did you feel when you saw it um I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, that's a good start. <laughs> I, just, I just laughed for about 10 minutes, I'd say. I know, it was very, it was very good. It was, it was well, I was, I was just about to get down on one knee as the, tr the tr traditional way of doing it. <laughs> yes. yeah. I could just find, I had Catherine in an, uh, a loving embrace <laughs> and she just had to slip down. So uh, she went down on both knees. I did I think with, with the shock. <laughs> But uh, she quickly resumed her posure again and uh, uh, said the word that I was hoping she was going to say, which was yes. Wonderful. So, of course I will. Oh. So it's been, uh, it's been a, a fantastic year. Lovely. Fantastic year. A lot, a lot has happened. Um, but I think yesterday was, was the day. I, I've known for a long time um, that Catherine is, oh. is the one. So I think yesterday was the, the apt opportunity to, to capture that. And uh, I suppose really kind of... Um, express how I feel. Wonderful. And, that's how I feel. and Catherine, can I be bold and ask you to flash the ring just before I switch oh, off? Here we go. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you both. Thanks, Thanks for the We had switched off, but I decided to switch it back on again <laughs> because um, in our conversation it emerged that both of your grandfathers fathers were Friends, yeah. tell Friends. me about. Tell yeah, me you know more that. than me. Yeah, I suppose I'd have been very little um, at the time, but I, I always remember this name, Jack Cadigan. I come up in conversations like so. Obviously, that was around at home. Um, so I suppose having met Catherine and found out who her, who she was and her family and her background, just got me thinking that there's more to this than meets the eye. So. Yeah. Um, so Catherine, do you feel like you're in some sort of arranged marriage? Yeah, some people up there were trying to set us up. Very good. I think so. Lovely. <laughs> I was creeped out by it all. <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> yeah, they were used to be friends. Yeah, just and you knew my, like, well, I'm, mm. I'm not from Cork, so, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not connected. My mother's from Cork, my mother's from Demonway. But, um, like, when I first, when we went on our first date or whatever, and you said that you knew my grandmother, mm. and you knew her well, like, from visiting the, do you know, the... Yeah. The old folks' places and stuff. I was just like, oh my god. Okay, so it's like very close. Yeah, when you break it down, <laughs> you've come from the opposite side of the world. Yeah. Um, to the Manway in West Cork. Uh, your mum only recently relocated there about three years ago. Mm. Quite close to my own home, um, close to Balnacarriga, um, and just <clears throat> when we were was doing little the small chats. In the first week of we meeting, yeah, was, um, she was kind of asking where you're from, where you're living, and I said I can see your mum's house from where I'm living, and it does, does seem <laughs> like it's in the stars, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It like I've, look, we've all had relationships over the years, but this one just feels different in a good way. That there's some sense or meaning behind it. Yes. <laughs> um, it's not just that we just met. And we're trying this out and it's working out like it just seems that this was meant to be it's it's written somewhere uh up there whatever that is 
Um, but like it just feels it feels right it feels good and there's just little things happening along the way that kind of uh, cement in that kind of <laughs> feeling or belief that reaffirm things reaffirm that's the word thank you Catherine <laughs> thank you yeah.